So for problem number 10, um, we're given figure 1.4, which is this cube, and then it's asking us which point of the cube is i plus j. So we just have to think of the fact that the um, the i vector moves it, uh, gives it, maybe you could call it a forward dimension, the j vector gives it a sideways dimension, and then the k vector gives it uh, an upwards dimension, right? So if you think of the point um, i plus j, well, we're still, we're not going to have any vertical component, right? So we're going to be stuck here in the lower plane, but we're going to have um, maximum lateral height and then maximum forward height. So that is going to be this point here. This is going to be i plus j. So maybe we can say that i plus j is the, um, is a bottom corner, right? Is a bottom corner. Okay. And then we, it's asking us, what is the point I of the sum I plus J plus K? So we already have the point I plus J, and now we just need to add K to it. And K is the upwards dimension, upwards direction, right? So we're gonna go from here and just move up. And this point here is our uh, this here is our i plus j plus k. So we can say that i plus j plus k is an upper is an upper corner. And then it's asking us to describe all points x, y, z in the cube. And basically, we have to th we have to think that all the points that are between 0 and 1 in the vertical direction, in the horizontal, and in the forwards direction, um, all of the points that are between 0 and 1 are included, right? So, for example, I could have this point over here. I could have this point here or here. All of these, as long as they're less than 1 in all dimensions, they're going to be within our cube. So what we can say is that x is less than uh, or equal to 1, same thing 0, and then we can say that y is between 1 and between 0, and then that z is between 1 and between 0. And that is it for problem 10.